hello 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 guys what is up welcome back to my channel and welcome to my living room we're currently in like the living room entryway um, because the lighting is just so bomb right here rude so for the title of today's video i'm going to be giving you guys a beauty room tour now my room was recently professionally organized by a company for the longest time that room has been going through it if you guys follow me on instagram and insta stories you know that i'm constantly cleaning that room constantly organizing and then i've attempted to do vlogs where i'm reorganizing and cleaning it just never gets done because there's just so much stuff so i hired a company and they came and they just they let that room have it they shaped her back up and she looks so good right now what's a two-day process for the two days there was three people a day that came i think this is like the most makeup they probably ever seen in their lives because there was literally so much makeup everywhere so we removed all my alex drawers and then from there they were able to put the makeup into different makeup bins and storage units. They just wanted it to look not only organized, but also aesthetically pleasing and really pretty. I really wanted it to look like a beauty room and not just a filming room. And that's kind of the vibe I was getting before. We decided also to remove my closet doors because my closets have a lot of space in there and a lot of shelving units. So we really wanted to utilize as much as we can, but I really wanted to see everything. I wanted to see the products out, the colors and all that stuff to actually to feel really inspired and motivated in this work of what I do. I'm really excited to share with you guys the room i hope you guys really like it and i hope you guys are inspired with this um and yeah that is pretty much it so first thing when you walk into the room you are going to come across my filming station filming area this is where i film all my videos and this is pretty much just the behind the scenes of how it really looks right here is usually where i sit and you guys only tend to see like two to three shelves this is what's going on on the outside it's kind of crazy kind of busy and it's so crazy to know that all this stuff is what captures the video so we have these boards on the side here that actually help block in the light and keep it in the middle we have a mic over me which has been very helpful in the past i used to have one right here and the problem with that is that it was picking up the sound of this trying to focus so once we removed that one and we went to this we didn't have the issue anymore but the only thing about this one is it picks up everything everything i can have a little mojito and you can hear me sniffling we have a cheapy little table here from target that i actually downgraded to originally i had a really nice big white one it was a great table but way too bulky way too much drawer space which allowed me to just hoard a lot of products into but obviously i know this is eventually going to get ruined it's only 30 dollars versus you know buying a, a super expensive table and then having to get rid of it later on and then right here we have this monitor that we got at best buy this is really helpful when i'm filming pretty much the camera is connected to it and it projects everything so i can see my face i can see how it looks on camera and how it's going to look for you guys and then right here we have my sky panel which is my newest light and the only thing we've changed in in my beauty room equipment right when I changed this a lot of you guys thought I got a new camera a new lens but it's actually just the light the light makes everything super crisp and clear so right here you see these little guys you can actually adjust temperature the lighting do you want more warmth more blue what do you need you know it's just an overall amazing light to have and a super super expensive investment but since we got this we really really are so happy with it and then right here we have my camera this is the canon 5d mark IV. perfect because you can zoom out and capture a little bit more or get pretty close and i mean not macro shot but you can get pretty tight on the face and then just on a tripod and then a bunch of cords everywhere. My goal for this room is to eventually hide all the cords. I don't know how that's gonna work, but I would love to see no cords, pipods, everything just floating, you know? And then when I'm done, you push a button and it goes away. That's what I wish. And then from there, when you turn on this side, this is where all my makeup and products are stored. So this side of the room is my absolute favorite. I love this little area right here. Originally, I had four large Alex drawers, but once we removed all of that, I really wanted to make it chic and cute and just full of so much makeup. These acrylic trays right here are from CB2, and all the decor is from CB2, Target, West Elm, Home Goods. This is from Home Goods. It's actually meant, I think, for a candle. I'm not sure. We got a NARS book, a little plantita. And then right here, we have all of these acrylic trays that store so much makeup. So we'll go ahead and start on this side. Right here is where I have all of my foundations. Actually, these two drawers have foundations and then kind of like my go-to foundations right there. We have on this side some concealers. So I really wanted to focus all of my face products on this side. More concealers, concealers. We got some Fenty and KKW Beauty in there. And then right here is where we have e.l.f. Maybelline. We got my Jouer. 
Too Faced and so on. So we really wanted to focus this whole side and all of my complexion products. And then when you get over here, this is where I have all of my highlighters stored. Isn't it funny that this is more than my actual complexion products? Then right here I have some body glows from Fenty, from Patrick Ta Beauty, from Huda Beauty. We got Soji Hanero, Tom Ford, NARS. Then down here, it's kind of a mix of everything. We have my loose powders in this section and it was really helpful to actually flip them upside down so you can see the colors. In the past, I used to have them like this and then it was a biatch trying to figure out which shades they were. So we have the loose powders there. We have palettes down here. We have individual ones right here. This is from Too Faced. Got some Natasha Denona and Fenty. So you can see there's just a ton of highlighters everywhere and I'm not mad about it. I think highlighters are the one thing that I really could just continue to store and collect. And keep in mind, these are all different shades too. It's not the same shade. We got rid of all the duplicate products. We try to keep it to just like only one rose gold flash needed versus like five of them. But yeah, this is where all the highlighters are stored. And then when you get to these right here, this is where I have a bunch of my eye products stored. So we have mascaras in these two bins and this is where all the black ones go. And then the golds and whites go up here, liquid liners. And then right here are going to be the chrome paint pots from Tarte. Kind of all the loose cream products with some loose shadows. And on this side, we have more mascaras. So we have the pinks, the greens, and purples. And then I think these are going to be the glitters. Yeah, little glitters in there. Um, more glitter. More glitter. Will I go through all this in my lifetime? Probably not. And then right here is where I have all of my lip liners stored. So this one's still kind of under construction, which is why you see a blue there. You see some reds, you know, they're all kind of mixed. Um, but what I think I'm going to do is put all the lip ones here. So probably nudes, reds, orange, darks, you know, and so on. And then right here's where I'm going to actually store the eyeliners. Guarantee you when I'm done with this side right here, it's going to be half the amount of products because I know I do not use all that. But yeah, this is pretty much the top portion of the side. And all of these trays are also from the container store in case you guys are wondering. And then these acrylic trays, they sell them at the container store, but I think these are cuter. These are from CB2. Moving on to this console right here. This actually used to be in my apartment and recently we were cleaning. We decided to move it back up in here and what do you know, it works perfectly for this spot. So this one is from CB2 as well. I believe they still have it there. But once you open up these drawers, this is where you're going to find the rest of my lip and face products. So right here we have the highlighter bin. And in the bins, you will see all of the palettes and loose powders, kind of the extra highlighters that I have around. And then right here is where you're going to see my blush palettes. So I have a ton of blush palettes that are just really great. A lot of them that I don't want to get rid of because I love them so much, but pretty much all my blushes go in here. And then these containers are also from the container store. The only thing is that they don't come on wheels, so you can't roll them out. You have to pull the whole thing out. Moving on to the side is where we have bronzers, and these are just all my favorites that I love. Oh, and then something else too to mention is that these actually can pop off. So you see how there are spaces in between. You can actually make it thicker, smaller, however much space you need. Then moving on down to the second row, right here is where you're going to find all of my blushes and I pretty much organized everything by color and by brand. And then right here is where I have all of my powder stores. So we have loose powders up in here. And then down below is where all the pressed powders are at. And then these two bins right here are where all of my lipsticks are. So each bin has its own section. So we have all glosses there. We have reds, we have orange. And then down below we have pinks, berries, and so on. And this whole side, believe it or not, this is all nudes. <laughs> This is all glosses and nudes. This may look pink, it's not. She baby pink, but she's still a nude pink, so she stays in this bin. The lip section is very similar to the lip liner section. I still need to go through everything one more time to really decide my forever colors. Once I leave this section, I move over to the next side, and this is where I have all of my eyeshadow palettes stored. This has been really helpful. I went from having two huge Alex drawers full of palettes to just this. This is perfect. And these are the palettes I decided to keep because I really like them. I love the quality of them. I like the colors. It's definitely wearable palettes that I can wear all the time. And these are all alphabetized. So we have pretty much all the A's, B's, C's, E's, F's, A, B, C's, E's, F's, because I have so many of those. We have all my Urban down here, all my Too Faced there. And then right here is kind of a mix of the in-between. I still have to label them once I figure out like where exactly they're gonna go. But nonetheless, I just really like this a lot better than what I had before. Right on the side of it right here, you're gonna find these two super cute baskets. So in these baskets are 
pretty much new PR and products I'm keeping or products I'm giving away. Right now it's kind of a mix of everything just because we've been getting so much new products and I haven't had a chance to go through every single thing. But generally what I do is all of my new products go on this side and then giveaways go over here. Then from there, once it gets to the top, it's my, okay, we gotta go, we gotta get through this ASAP, otherwise it's gonna overfill and then end up on the floor and that's what we're trying to avoid. I feel this really reminds me also to put it away or decide what I'm gonna do with it instead of just pushing it to the side and figuring it out months later and then the mess starts again. So this is the closet, but we actually removed the doors just so we can kind of see everything. And the doors were actually so big that they were blocking it right here and this could only move out to about right there. Like you could never fit anything in here before. So by removing them, now we can fully pull it out. We can actually use them and I actually don't mind it. I love being able to see everything. I know for some people this is like kind of cluttery and looks crazy, but for me, it's aesthetically very, very pleasing seeing all the colors and just kind of how everything looks. It's very just inspiring. So we're gonna start on this side because this is where the rainbow is at. So right here is where I have all my beauty backdrops. These were all purchased in downtown LA, but you can see a kind of a range of everything from pinks to mauves to purples. We have blue, mermaid, we have different kinds of textures going on. I'm a huge fan of using backdrops. I think they're actually really cool. If you're going for a certain look, they really do help pop the makeup out. And then they are all hung up on these slack hangers that I found on Amazon. And then right down below, I have all of my traveling cases and makeup bags all stored and put away. This actually ended up working perfectly because these are such bulky things that I had no idea where to put them out. They were always just kind of sitting around and figuring out where they were supposed to live. But now that they're up here, it's made it so much easier to find everything. And then right down below over here, this is where all the miscellaneous things go. So we have cleaning supplies there, boards and chargers, mirrors, tripods, lenses. Here have a fan in case I ever want like a Beyonce moment. So moving on to the shelf right here is where I have all of my skincare and hair products. This is like my favorite side other than right there. This is like the coolest side to me because I'm obsessed with these little Lazy Susans that have become my favorite thing in the world. And then again, everything is color coordinated. So we have all the yellows and golds on this side and I actually don't mind it. I know some people are all about having serums together and dry shampoos, but I actually really, really like this. This side we have more hair products. We have all the teals, dry shampoos, hairsprays, all the purples and pinks. Too cute, more hair. We have a lot of dry shampoo and styling products. And then from there, right above, is where I have all of my skincare. So we have my primers, my sunscreens, moisturizers. More moisturizers, wipes, primers. I need to get one more label for that, but another primer, my mask, more moisturizers. And then over here is where I have my lashes, my lip balms, my beauty blenders, body shimmers, tanning supplies, and I love this right here, my scarves, scrunchies, and headbands. And then up above, we have some more Lazy Susan. So we have all of my favorite serums. Oh my God, you guys see how heavy that is? So much stuff in there. I go through all my setting sprays so quick. So in about a month or two, this will be like flying like nothing. So moving down from there, we have the four drawers. So in these drawers, we really wanted to utilize them as much as we can. So the first one we decided to put in all of my makeup brushes, the one area that we had no idea where to store these at. I didn't want them out. I wanted them stored away and this worked out perfectly. So the team put them in these bins right here and pretty much went based on size. Here we have all my lash colors, my glues, and all my tiny little handheld mirrors. And then right here, so we have all of my hair accessories and brushes. So all the brushes go on this side and then right here, we have the same similar style trays, rubber bands, hair ties, clips, clips, and bobby pins, and then more hair accessories. This one isn't too pretty, but this is just pretty much all of my hair tools. Nothing to see there. And then right here we have some more makeup bags for travel that fit perfectly in this drawer. And then the last section is right here, which are just all of these shoe bins that we made into eyes, lip, and face bins where I'm gonna store all of my extra products. So you can see we have a lot of eye products in here, but this is pretty much all my gazillion P. Louise bases, all my glitters, just products that I feel can go in something big like this. Just some more eye products. We have lip products from MAC, more beauty blenders, and then this is gonna actually change to hair extensions. I have all my hair extensions in there. So these all come together. I think it's 20 in a box, and it's perfect for something like like this. So that is pretty much it for the organization portion of the makeup, but I do want to show you guys the rest of the room. So once you start turning, you come to the actual filming spot. Like this is 
where it really goes down right here, hello. And uh, behind it is where I have my shelves. And I always get so many questions on where these shelves are from. So these shelves are from West Elm and they unfortunately are not on their site anymore. They're about three to four years old, but they were originally brass and Sebastian spray painted them black. I wouldn't say he did an A plus job. I mean, I still see some brass down there. We're not gonna clock them on that, but um, we spray painted them black and I love how they came out and we decided just to add black white decor to give it a very chic vibe, a little bit of wood as well. This is kind of the aesthetic in my house, so I wanted to kind of keep my house in here, which is why we also went with that aesthetic up there. A lot of this decor is all from West Elm, Pottery Barn, Home Goods is a major one, CB2. Every season, or every few months, I'll change it up. Like, let's say, like, I don't know, we're getting into summer or a certain theme, I'll switch everything up for that theme and so on. But at the moment, this is what I'm going for. You get over here, we have some curtains. These are actually amazing to have if you are someone that films because they're actually blackout curtains. What would happen in the past is it would be golden hour, the sun is shining through and it would peak in the back of the video and change the whole lighting in here. So blackout curtains are a must for beauty rooms. And then right here, we just have a little bit more decor going on. So we have these white curtains that are also the blackout ones, acrylic table that I love so much. In the meantime, I also have these gray storage units. They're gonna be moved somewhere else. I just don't know where, but inside of them, I have very sentimental things in here. So I have a lot of photos and photo albums and just special things to me. And then in here, all my collaborations are in here and just things that mean a lot to me. I have my very, very first ColourPop collection. I don't know if you guys remember this one, but I still have everything inside of there. It's just things I never want to touch because I want to keep them forever. Hopefully in the future, if I have kids, I can show them and hopefully they're proud of me. But yeah, just things that mean a lot. They go in there because I don't want them to get ruined. And then of course, what would my life be without a plant in the room? This is from CB2. Basket is from World Market. And then lastly, I want to show you guys this mirror from Glamcore. So I use a lot of their lights. I use it in the, the Ricky light. You know, guys on the little travel light, actually. This one right here, that actually is Ricky Loves Ricky, but it's made through Glamcore. So it's the same company. So you get the same super, super bright lights. And then you just turn it off right here. You can dim it. You can have it full blast. It's just a bomb light. There you go. You guys can see that is the lighting from the mirror. It's pretty bomb, right? And if I turn it off, I mean, it's like a pretty big difference, don't you think? Ooh, yes. So that is it for this beauty room tour, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed getting to know more about where I filmed, the behind the scenes, and everything that went off in this room. Also, 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 before you guys go, definitely check out the Home Edits Instagram or YouTube page if you guys want inspiration on organization. They literally will inspire you and show you how to just redo everything. So definitely check them out. Wish me luck that I keep this room the way it looks. And yeah, until the next time, guys. Bye.